The ache in God's heart continued as the world ached. His love still comes for us. The floods that we face now, the lack of work, the need for money, Isaac's development, I know that God has a plan. And his plans are so much better than our plans. They're pretty much unknown, but I know that they'll be much better than anything I could plan. He asked Abram to leave all that he knew, to trust him with all that he had. In believing God, trusting him, Abram was captivated by the stars and by the promise and the blessings that God gave him. I will bless you, not burden you. I will bless you, not break you. God gives the greatest gift of love. Do you feel the wind today? Do you see someone smiling, someone laughing? These are love gifts from God. These are the Eucharisteo, the grace that I find each and every day and give thanks. Can you count the way that God loves you? See and listen for God in every little thing. He makes you into the gift, into a blessing for others. Be blessed and be a blessing. We are filled so we can pour out. In this season, we look towards the child who was born under a star. The greatest gift he can give you is himself, and he is love. I pray to be diligent in trusting God each and every day. I hope for what he has planned. God feels with us. He feels our pains, our struggles. We find favor because Christ feels the pain. He did on the cross, but he conquered death and he is alive. God's heart breaks for you each and every day and he carries you through.